Right, so in Ultimate Team today, he dropped some showdown items. There's actually quite a few of them. We've got a Thiago Mendes here. If you want to see a video on him, let me know by leaving a like and let me know in the comments too. But for this video in particular, we're going to focus on Yamalenko, who I have to say is really easy to unlock. You're going to have to play a minimum of eight games, but it's currently quarter to seven, and I started unlocking this card at quarter past six. It took me half an hour, so people are quitting, which is obviously great. So minimum of eight games, win four of them, that'll come naturally. So will score in two from outside the box, especially if you abuse finesses like me. And then three goals with three balls, once again, will come naturally. A really, really easy unlock, and we've got an 88-rated Yamalinko coming into the club. Here he comes then with the kind of Team of the Year themed walkout. But on face value, the card does look quite nice. I'm a bit unsure where I want to play him yet, whether it be as a cam or as a striker. I think I'm going to start him out as a cam, but maybe in-game switch him to striker. We'll see what happens. So let's put him in this really creative hybrid, and let's see what we can do. So, high-low wear crates. Perfect, especially if we use him as a striker. Four-star, four-star, don't mind that at all. Couple of traits, the best one obviously being the outside the foot shot. Now, in regards to in-game stats, pace absolutely fine and um, shooting looks really really good actually finishing shot power long shots all above 90 love to see that passing for most part is pretty well rounded and the dribbling it's a bit more the same like on paper this card for a freebie i think looks absolutely excellent even the physicals are up to a good standard as well jumping isn't the best but with him being six foot three aerially he still should have a presence so uh, yeah just looks good for a freebie doesn't it and let's be honest, if this card was an SBC item, especially with him being in the Premier League, EA would be charging, what, 150, 200, maybe 250k, um, especially with being a live card. Um, let me know, price predictions in the comments below, what would this card have costed if EA dropped it as an SBC? Remember that Prem tax, remember that. Anyway, in regards to a chem style with a basic, he is a 92 centre forward, 91 cam and 90 striker. You can actually get some pretty good ratings out of him, which is obviously very, very nice. But ultimately, looking at the card, I'm thinking you've got two options. If you want to use him as a striker, something like Hunter might be really, really good to obviously max out the pace and give him, you know, pretty insane shooting. But as a cam, I think you want to go with Engine, give a nice base to the pace once more, um, makes the dribbling look much better too, and also increases his passing a good amount. So I think that's the chem style we're going to go with, especially since he's already got some really, really nice shooting attributes. Also, I think the dribbling boost will be handy with him having you know the high and average body type and the fact that he's just a big player in general in a game because we all know how FIFA works you know big body types and big players they they normally mean that a player is not going to feel too great on the ball okay next game nice team I like it a bit more of a hybrid in this one I like the creativity chance oh what a goal love to see that from Yamalenko got the ball out of his feet and he's absolutely blasted it into the top corner top corner I can't even speak English. How much better do goals look when they're going off the bar? They just look so much nicer, don't they? Chance on the break here. Yeah. Ericsson brings the ball forward. Oh, try to get that back post cross. Comes in. Chance for Yamalenko with the header. Good save from the hair. And following that goal, he quits. Bit of a weird one to quit, don't you think? Like, he was genuinely having the better of the chances, as you can see. But on the counter-attack, we just looked good. Yamalenko's debut sees him feature against a La Liga slash Spanish team. It's quite a nice squad, actually, but I do not like the fact he's playing five at the back. I'm hoping that right card is going to come into a CDM role. Good ball into Origi, who gets around his man and finesses. Sadly, fires past the goalkeeper. Nice. There's a chance now to break with Yamalenko. We're going to cut inside. I'm going to try and hit that finesse. Oh. Rijkaard was wise to it. What is Larice doing? Like, ran away from the ball. Chance to break now. We go for the long ball with Yamalenko. It's a fantastic pass. Into Divock Origi. Oh, why did I shoot like that? I don't know what happened there. My, my brain just didn't work. I was thinking maybe he'll come out and I'll, I'll chip him. But I don't know. That's just poor from me. Here we go then. Switch around now. It's, it's Origi giving it to Yamalenko. Cut back inside. Oh, just couldn't get the shot away in time. Raikard does well to close us down. Nice. Go on, Yamalinka. Great run. Chance with the strike. Oh, he's hit the post. Well, annoyingly at the break, we are 3-2 down, but I have been defending like an idiot, and Larice sucks. 
Also a turn chance for Yamalinko Aerial. He sadly does not get the connection that we want. Nice. Good play. Origi. Oh, I've got to be scoring that. Well, unfortunately, didn't get the win in that game. 3 2 loss, and it is just ultimately a frustrating one because my finishing just let me down. It's as simple as that. That was definitely a game we should have been winning. Okay, game three. Caesars come up against Nkunku again. Pedri again. And flashback Varane again. Chance. Yamalenko. Really nice pass, which Ericsson may get on the end of. To be honest, if we have a faster winger there, I think we get to that. The pass was nice. Okay, interesting. Is he onside here? Have to, oh, I had to cut back there, but just couldn't in time. Cordoba too quick. But what is the point? I get an equaliser and he just quits. Why are people quitting? It's like, it's rivals. Does it matter? Like, <laughs> I don't get what you're playing for if you're just going to quit. Game number four, and my opponent has plenty of icons. He looks like a person who's really enjoyed the icon packs. Um, also, just a casual team DMSE in there as well. Let's go. Let's do it into the box. Chance. Oh, yeah, Malenka just doesn't quite get there. Nice, great play from the Belgian, and he sets up Yamalenko to open the scoring in this game. Fires the ball across the goalkeeper, giving him no chance. Chance, once again, Yamalenko gets in behind, but this time Varane has the pace and does enough. Nice, here we go, chance, oh, chip it, oh, has it done it? Oh, that's a great finish. That's a fantastic finish under pressure. That very easily could have gone anywhere, but it didn't. It ended up in the back of the net. Great finish. Okay, despite the opposition having a really nice team, we do have a comfortable lead at the break. Chance, surely, on the volley. Nice. Had enough time to set himself and puts it into the corner to really give us a good lead in this match. Got a nice little cushion now. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Put the ball through. There we go. Love that. And let's wrap this game up. Very sweaty, but <laughs> just eliminate any chance of an embarrassing comeback. Chance to break now. Like I said, he is well and truly gone on constant pressure. And now Yamalinka has plenty of yards to eat up. Goes for the chip from distance and unfortunately does not convert. Ah, he's definitely on constant pressure because we have just found a hole in that defence way too quick. And then he outside the foot shot. Hits the back of the net. That was not great goalkeeping. I know he was backtracking, but like it was pretty much straight at him. But like I've said, my opponent since we got the third has been on like constant pressure or some kind of press, and it's really should because his defence has been as bad as mine is right now. And there is full time. Comfortable 5-1 victory to finish us. Okay, so after four games with this Yamalenko, we found the back of the net five times and got one direct assist. To be honest, he should have had a couple more assists. You saw in the footage, my finishing with Divock Origi was not good tonight, so uh, my bad. Anyway, focusing on this item. I actually quite liked it. But I'll say straight away, it is going to be one of them cards that not everyone is going to enjoy because his dribbling ability just isn't there. As we spoke about at the start of the video, just doesn't have, you know, the body type that fits the meta. And yes, he does feel heavy on the ball, even with the dribbling boost that we did provide with the engine chem style. So that is a bit of a shame. However, on the flip side of things... I thought his technical stats were quite good, especially in regards to output, whether it be a shot or a pass. So I was just really, really pleased with that department. Obviously, four-star, four-star as well, so he can go off either foot for the most part. And as I say, the passing and shooting in general, I actually thought was really, really nice. He's a threat from distance. He's a threat inside the box. and um, He's got really good shot power. And his distribution, as I've said, was really, really good. So he is a nice attacking option. And I'll say this. I think his best role, it definitely isn't as a central cam or as a striker. This guy's best role probably would be as like a wide cam in like this kind of formation here where you can cut inside and like try and go for that finesse off of his left foot or you can go for the cross and uh, that way obviously you can uh, get some goals. Now, although he is six foot three and he did win some aerial battles, I do have to say his heading wasn't the best. 
However, if you have this guy at the back stick and you're crossing into him, he obviously would be a good option to either, you know, go for the attacking header or pass it back for someone to tap in. So I do think this kind of role would be perfect for him. As I say, in the, in regards to, like, we'll do comparisons in a bit, but in regards to strikers and cams in the Premier League, there just are better options already available out there. But for a free card, I did actually quite like this item. Anyway, thumbs up on the shooting and passing. Like I've said, his technical output was very, very good. It's just his dribbling, which surprised surprise is the limiting factor with this card um but yeah pace felt good um physicals were nice in game for most part apart from obviously the aerial ability and yeah he did a good job if you want you know a forward to do some hold up play for you this is actually a very very good card for that kind of gameplay well let's do some quick comparisons um in regards to like premier league cams honestly the fact that this ericsson is so cheap is just where is it Where's that Ericsson? Am I blind? Oh, it's right there. I, this Ericsson just blows so many cards out the water. When I reviewed him, I said if he's under 100k, he'll be an absolute bargain. And the fact that he's 60k, I do believe he's actually one of the best value players in the game because he is an elite level cam. Obviously, I know his price is down due to the EA glitch with him, but I still think, you know, massively, massively underpriced so if you need a Premier League cam like that is who I would advise anyone can get 60k in this year's game and um, very very cheap so wouldn't advise this guy as a cam if obviously you're looking to buy um, a player and in regards to like striker options like honestly for a freebie you really really can't complain and um, he would do an all right job as a striker but he's just not you know meta in that regard like you don't really have like the dribbling output with this guy so there is obviously a bunch of better options like i'm just looking at some of these prices right now and i'm thinking wow this year's market it's it's so mad in form ronaldo just 550k that's mad that martial 350 like this 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 year is just mad but um yeah i'd probably use this rodrigo of this yamalenko which sounds pretty insane but i just feel like he he fits the meta a bit more. But still, this isn't a negative review because like I've said, I actually really enjoyed this card. I've said it like four times now, but his technical output in regards to his shooting and passing is very, very good. I just wish he felt a little bit better in regards to his dribbling. Um, obviously, it's a showdown card and it can and may well get upgraded. And with a plus two on this item, who knows, maybe it'll feel much better on the ball. I'm going to say it's going to be unlikely due to the main issue not being his dribbling stats and it more being, you know, his body type and stuff like that. But you never know. Definitely a card worth unlocking though. Like, honestly, you'd be stupid not to unlock either of these showdown cards because they're a very easy unlock and it's essentially, you know, a free bit of fodder if you're not even going to use him. So definitely get him unlocked. Fun card, definitely worth trying out as well if you don't mind the fact that he's not an elite level dribbler. Anyway guys, those are my thoughts on Yamalinko. Let me know yours in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.